Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. So in this video, we are going to focus on tangent planes. So I hope you watched lesson number 2 in Spears where we discussed the tangent condition, the intersecting condition, etc, etc. Okay, anyway, the first one I have to tell you is the tangent plane of a sphere when point of contact is given. And I'll give you one memory aid to remember the formula. Uh, look at this. There will be three variables x, y, z. So what you do is you write x squared as x into x and put x1. Let's say the point of contact is x1, y1, z1. I'll repeat once more. To write the equation of a tangent plane when the point of contact is given. Okay. So what you do is you convert x squared into x into x and hence into x1 y y1 z z1 and 2x will be written as x plus x and then I make it x1 y1 z1 okay now here we go the trick is very simple suppose we have a sphere x square plus y square plus z square uh, plus 2 ux plus 2 vy plus 2 wz plus d equal to 0 and if the point of tangency, that means you know the point on the sphere, um, which is the point of contact, then all you have to do is you have to write x, x1. How do you do? Yeah, y, y1. And what about the next? Z, z1. Okay, now look at this. Now be very careful. We need to create 2x. So u into 2x, and that will be x plus x plus v into y plus y1 plus w into z plus z1 plus d equal to 0. If you want you can use this memory aid or you can by heart this as a formula. Okay, anyway I have one question for you. Find the equation of the tangent plane to the sphere at the point. Now remember in such questions first of all you have to confirm that this point belongs to the because it is not given point of tangency or etc they have simply given a point because you can have a sphere and you can have a tangent and the point might be somewhere on the tangent plane okay anyway in such questions the first thing you do is you confirm that this point belongs to the sphere so that's very simple you plug in that point 1 plus 25 plus 4 minus 2 minus 30 minus 8 plus 10 equal to 0. So this will give you 30, 30 and 30 will be cancelled, minus 10 plus 10, so 0 equal to 0. Now let's apply the trick. I will strongly recommend you apply the trick. So we write the equation to tangent that x1, y1, z1 is given by, what's the trick? x squared will be written as x into x, then y into y, then z into z minus, now look at this, 2x. What should I do with 2x? x plus x. And 6y. 6y means half of that will be 3. I am using it like 3 into 2 into y. And that will be y plus y and my trick. And then divide by 2. So 2 into z plus z1 plus 10 equal to 0. So if you want, you can by heart the formula or apply the trick. Now, what is x1, y1, z1? Yeah, 1 minus 5 and 2. So x into 1 and y into minus 5 plus 2 into z minus x plus 1 plus 3 times y minus 5 minus 2 times z plus 2 plus 10 equal to 0. You can simplify. Anyway, I got the answer y plus 5 equal to 0. You have to divide throughout by minus 2 etc etc. I simplified it. Confirm whether this answer is matching with your answer or not. Okay, now let's go for some other question. Now, these questions are more important uh, in comparison with the first question. So look at this. Here we use the condition for tangency. If you don't know where this condition came from, you have to check video lesson 2 in spheres. Yeah. Okay. Prove that the plane touches the sphere. What do you mean by touches the sphere? Becomes a tangent. 
and also find the point of contact okay that will be not too difficult so I have the picture we have the center of the sphere capital C so let's find the center I'm sure you're an expert by now to find the center what's the center yeah coefficient of x divided by minus 2 coefficient of y divided by minus 2 there is no set so that will be 0 now what is the radius radius will be root under square these quantities 4 plus 1 plus 0 minus the constant is negative 4 so it's going to get added and we'll get 3 so the radius is equal to now I defined P because the per tangency condition is R is equal to P so I'm going to verify that the radius will be equal to the perpendicular distance from center to the yeah now how do you find the perpendicular distance do you still remember the formula very simple P is equal to the numerator will be modulus and you plug in this coordinate into the um, equation so we get 2 into 2 that will be 4 plus 1 plus 0 minus 14 divided by length of the normal that will be 4 plus 1 plus 4 and the numerator will be 4 minus 40 yeah that will be modulus modulus means positive value that gives you 9 by 3 equal to 3 so we just proved that r equal to p and that proves the first part so what did we prove we proved that the plane touches the sphere now comes the difficult part find the point of contact it is not that difficult if you had watched spheres the last part so you have to understand one fact so i want you to draw the picture once more so we have a tangent plane and a is the point of contact and remember the point of contact means it is a point on the line and it is a point on the plane and you have to note one more thing that line is actually normal to the plane can you see that so the direction ratios of the line are the normal direction ratios of the plane which will be 2 minus 1 2 and also you can note that the line passes through a known point 2 minus 1 0 so the equation of the line is x minus 2 uh, the whole divided by 2 is equal to y plus 1 the whole divided by minus 1 is equal to z minus 0 the whole divided by 2 is equal to t now I'm going to convert this into parametric form tell me what is the advantage of parametric form yeah parametric form gives us access to every point on the line for different different values of t you'll get different 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 points on the line and my job is to find a particular t so that it becomes the point A which is the point of contact okay so the parametric form goes like minus t minus 1 z equal to 2t okay now look at this is A a point on the line of course yes so A can be written in the form 2t plus 2 minus t minus 1 2t got it because A is a point on the line a can be written as the parametric form 2t plus 2 minus t minus 1 2t now our job is to find that t wait a minute a is a point on the plane also come on a belongs to the line and the plane so this coordinate will balance the equation of the plane and what is the equation of the plane did you read the question 2x minus y plus 2z minus 14 equal to 0 so this point will balance this equation and that is how we are going to find t so 2 into 2t two plus 2 minus minus t minus 1 plus 2 into 2t two minus 14 equal to 0 pause the video and find t by yourself anyway i did my homework i got t is equal to 1 uh, confirm that answer do it yourself anyway the point of contact will be 2 into 1 plus yeah that will be 4 minus 2 and 2 okay now let's go to the next question in tangents okay this is like really interesting find the equation of a sphere and what is the equation what is the speciality of the sphere it contains the circle 
and you know how this became a circle because a sphere and a plane together will produce a circle so first of all let me find let me write the equation of the required sphere so you can write the required sphere is come on tell me what will be any sphere which contains the circle s equal to 0 p equal to 0 remember this represents a circle yeah it will be s plus lambda p equal to 0 so the required sphere will be x square plus y square plus z square minus 5 plus lambda times x plus 2y plus 3z minus 3 equal to 0 now we got the sphere but we have to find our suitable lambda now let's write this in proper format x square plus y square plus z square plus you distribute this and simplify lambda into x plus 2 lambda into y plus 3 lambda into z plus minus 5 minus 3 lambda is equal to 0 I hope you understood look at this any sphere passing through this circle will be equation number 1 now tell me what is the speciality about our required sphere because equation 1 represents a whole family because for different different values of lambda you will get different different spheres containing the circle ok read the last line the required sphere the required sphere is a tangent to this plane ok so now what we do is we are going to apply the condition for tangency what is the condition for tangency yeah the condition for tangency is p is equal to r where r is the radius of the circle and p is the distance measured from center to the plane so let's calculate the center the center will be you know the method i have colored it in yellow minus lambda by 2 minus lambda minus 3 lambda by 2 and the radius is root under square all these quantities lambda square by 4 plus lambda square plus 9 lambda square by 4 plus 5 plus 3 lambda and that is radius is equal to root under 7 by 2 lambda square you can simplify fractions with calculator that's exactly what I did now plus 5 now we have to calculate P what is P? P means distance between the center and the given plane what is the given plane? 4x plus 3y minus 15 equal to 0 let's read the question once more don't use this plane yeah this is the plane because it is given the required sphere we already have the required sphere is a tangent to this plane so what is the plane 4x plus 3y minus 15 equal to 0 so calculate p how do you calculate you plug in the points so 4 into minus lambda by 2 plus 3 into minus lambda minus 15 divided by length of the normal to the plane so that will be 4 square plus 3 square so p comes out to be minus 2 lambda minus 3 lambda minus 15 by 5 that is p is equal to minus 5 lambda so i'm going to take minus 5 common lambda plus 3 by 5 so we can split this modulus so mod minus 5 mod lambda plus 3 by 5 so this will get cancelled so p is equal to mod lambda plus 3 now look at this what is the condition for tangency p is equal to r i can see modulus and square root so i'm going to square on both sides so p squared will be lambda plus 3 the whole square always remember if you square the modulus function you'll get the original function being squared and the square root will disappear plus 5 okay I'll cut it short and I ended up with the equation 5 lambda square minus 6 lambda minus 8 equal to 0 and lambda came out to be 2 and minus 4 by 5 so now your job is very simple you go back and plug in the first lambda value you will get one sphere plug in the second lambda value you will get another sphere okay. 
so now the last question in this video yeah so find the equation of the tangent um, for this sphere so we have to find the equation of a tangent so the situation looks something like this but it is given so let's say the blue color thing is the required tangent they have given another tangent that is a tangent parallel to the blue one okay so if you if you remember planes this will be very easy to solve so look at this we have to find the blue tangent and a plane parallel to the tangent is given now in planes we learned that uh, parallel planes have the same normal direction so basically there will be no change in this part so you can assume that the required tangent to be x minus 3y plus 2z plus some other constant to be equal to 0 so let's start like this let the required plane be x minus 3y plus 2z plus lambda equal to 0 now the job is very simple your job is to find lambda and we know that this equation number one is a tangent and what is the tangent condition r equal to p so let's start the usual job the center is 0 minus 2 3 and radius is root under 0 plus 4 plus 9 minus minus will be plus 1 that will be root under 14 so we got r equal to root 14 now we have to calculate p p means distance between the center and equation number 1 and that gives us modulus of you just plug in this point so we get 0 plus 6 plus 6 plus lambda the whole divided by root under 1 plus 9 plus 4 that is p is equal to modulus of lambda plus 12 by root 14 so now apply the condition p is equal to r you can square it because that modulus has to go lambda plus 12 the whole squared by 14 is equal to 14 so lambda lambda plus 12 the whole squared equal to 14 squared so lambda plus 12 is equal to plus or minus 14 taking square root on both sides so lambda equal to i'll take the positive value i'll take the negative value so i got lambda is equal to 2 and lambda is equal to minus 26 so the required plane will be so tell me what are the required planes you can look at this so the required planes are x minus 3y plus 2z the first value was 2 and the second value was minus 26 do you know why we are getting uh, two lambda values can you imagine what is the reason we are getting two lambda values the reason is very simple there will be always two planes parallel to there will be always two tangent planes parallel to any given plane it's because of the symmetry of the sphere so that's it um, i'll be back with more videos so till then my friends bye